session of BDP. So today we are going to talk about the BDP uh, HANA. Uh, actually, uh, BDP, I have already explained BDP, what BDP is all about. It's a business technology platform, uh, which is a part of SAP product. So it's, uh, we can say it as a platform as a service. Uh, BDP introduction I've already uh, given in, in my previous video. Today, what we are going to do is like, uh, we're just going to uh, talk about introduction up, uh, to SAP through BDP technology platform, trial account creation, introduction to Cloud Foundry, navigate to service marketplace, and title to business application study, uh, create development space, introduction to new uh, boss development uh, tool, migrus uh, important uh, commands creation of cap project from scratch working with the mta.yml package json package um, locked or json files make your project ready for hana development working with db and srv modules working with the c uh, db uh, c uh, ds files creation of hdi container understanding uh, bindling concepts and uh, also, we're going to talk about the creation of HANA database uh, artifacts, tables, calculation views, EDC as a design time objects, inserting um, data to the database objects using CSV files, exposing tables via OData service, creation of service, learning HANA cloud, working with HANA database explorer, creation of schema tables, EDC as a runtime uh, data uh, this uh, object, and uh, cross data access, working with user provide service, creating uh, user role, granting privileges to the user, creating uh, HDB grants, HDB uh, synonyms for files, creation of um, calculation views using cross schema tables, exposing uh, calculation view using OData service, deployment to Cloud Foundry, your um, selected sub account and space, testing your service and analyzing data. Introduction, introduction to the postman, postman and uh, court operations and many more concepts. So uh, this is all about what you can uh, learn about the BTP if you know all these things. I'm not going to show everything in, uh, in this video today, but it will take a long time to provide all uh, these, uh, uh, you know, uh, functionalities through the, uh, you know, practical uh you know um, practical um, uh, video so if i create uh, all these scenarios so practically so it, it will take a long time to uh, you know uh, uh, to uh, create the scenario like that where we can you can see and you can uh, learn how to create like uh, uh, how to create uh, dev space and uh, how to create a cap project from the scratch and uh, have to work with the mta.yml package, JSON package and uh, other, uh, you know, uh, SRV modules working with CDS files, creation of HDI container. So what I'm going to do is like uh, just today, I'm going to show you um, where to create dev space and how to create uh, uh, HANA DB for uh, our dev system. So that's all actually I'm going to show you today. But yes, uh, definitely um, I'm going to uh, create uh, multiple videos for uh, this uh, complete tutorial. So uh, it will it may take a long time because uh, I have to arrange time to create all these uh, videos. So let's start. So first, first of all, actually, um, I think uh, uh, the people who uh, doesn't know about the BDP uh, is uh, is uh, like I'm just going uh, uh, I'm just going through this slide where we can just uh, learn what is BDP all about like uh, what BDP does uh, in uh, software technology. So you can see uh, SAP Bid Business uh, Technology Platform is all about like uh, database and uh, data management, analytics, application development, and integration. Intelligent uh, technologies uh, is like uh, what uh, database and data management uh, is all about is like SAP HANA, SAP HANA Cloud, SAP Data Intelligence, SAP Master Data Governance, SAP Adaptive Service Enterprise. Then we have SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP Data Warehouse Cloud, and uh, we have SAP Business Objects BI, SAP Business Planning and Consolidation, SAP BWS for HANA, and then we have SAP 
integration suite uh, as an as application development and integration. So uh, we have extension suite, we have as process orchestration that is, uh, you know, it's all about uh, the process orchestration is uh, actually upgrade of the PI system. Like uh, it, it, everybody knows like uh, PIPO, it's uh, previously it's uh, it, it's uh, called a P, PI pro, process integration. Now it is process orchestration. It can be used in an integration uh, like application development and integration uh, uh, linking. So what is intelligent technologies is SAP intelligent robotics process automation, SAP conversational AI, uh, like artificial intelligence, SAP Internet of Things, or IOT, you can say that, SAP all business services, SAP ROM. So uh, these are all, uh, these all segments are related to the intelligence technologies. So this was all about this uh, nutshell of the SAP business uh, technology platform, uh, SAP BTP. So I have already created a video on that in the brief description, what it does, what is BTP. So today I'm just going through uh, the practicals only. So before going to the practicals, I'm just, uh, you know, giving the overview of this. So we have a pricing model. What we have is a commercial model, subscription model, consumption model, and uh, CPA and uh, pay as you go. So these are the pricing models. We, we do actually have this in the BDP. So this is all about this regions, select the region as per. Here you can see the trial. Trial, uh, you have to see, choose whether price as you go, CPA, whatever you want. So let me just go to the uh, actually practical. Uh, let me show you some practical here. So this is uh, actually my dashboard. My You can see my name here, Irshad. And uh, you can see my information and all about is mentioned here. So what do we have like uh, in the services? You can see uh, like uh, Cloud Foundry environment here. What, what, what do we have in the Cloud Foundry? So I have not created any dev space yet. You can see here spaces, name, dev, applications, zero applications instance is zero so once you create your dev space and you will you'll find your dev, dev space here the name of your dev space will appear on on this uh, dashboard here under the spaces so you will have the karma and uh, uh what what do you like um it's uh like uh about what what do you have in the entitlements is a karma environment where we you create your you know service plan and then uh you we um uh, Actually, uh, it will be all about your uh, dev space. So you can just create Kama as per your, uh, you know, requirement. So uh, if I go, if I go to, if I click on this instance and subscriptions, you will see us uh, what, what do we have in the subscription model here? Like uh, SAP Business Application Studio is a trial version for me. So um, you can see here under your sub account trial, instance so uh, subscriptions before you uh, go to uh, you know to this um, your dashboard you have to create your if you are not if you are just a learner so you can create a trial version and then uh, once you but you have to log in with your s user account it should be your s user and then you can convert that s user in the global uh, you know account and then you can log in here and then you can uh, create uh, your actually uh, dev space so you can see here so welcome to btp trial account so once you just log in you will get this page here so let me go to my trial account click on the go to the trial account here so i'm here and once you click on the trial account you'll see find your your you know you will you will have the options like uh I have created a screenshot for that. So this is what you will have once you log into your account. It's here. So it will just start creating your uh, account here. So you'll have the two options. One is for the, uh, you will get the uh, pop-up like whether you want to create an account with the AWS or Azure. So uh, you can choose on behalf of your you know, choice. So once, it's, uh, once you click on that, you will get like uh, this window. Welcome to your 
personal trial. So you will be uh, seeing this guy, uh, this uh, pop-up box here. Then uh, you can see that it's processing. Once everything is done, then you will get this page here. So let me go to my dashboard here. So if I click on my trial account here, the space I created um, for the sub account, you'll find it here. And then once Once you create a dev account, so you have to create, you have to create your HANA database. So once it is created, then it will ask you uh, actually what, whether you want your HANA instance, you know, with the IP, allow only BTP IP addresses or allow all IP addresses. So you have to choose all allow all IP addresses. So this is going to be your HANA. And so it, once you click on create a HANA, HANA database, then you will get uh, this uh, window. That's a uh, HANA, SAP HANA Cloud Central. So you will have, you will just create your HANA uh, instance here. So you can just, uh, you know, give your password and your instance name. So uh, it will be like uh, whatever HANA database name you will, and then it will be your default uh, administrator user and password so once you give all the details here so your um, you know an instance will be created so you can see it here it's creating the hana database here under the cloud foundry environment So this is all about, uh, actually, um, I just want to uh, give the overview today, like how to log into the uh, BTP cockpit, how to create a dev space, and how to create a HANA database, and um, uh, how to uh, create a sub account and uh, for the trial. And uh, if it is uh, like a business uh, you know, requirement, then you can uh, go ahead and uh, choose your business requirement and uh, create your, um, account as per your uh, business requirements then uh, there uh, then we'll just uh, in the next video I'll just show you uh, security user administration so you can see your landscape system landscape here so but I have not created any I have not added any system here so uh, you, uh, the systems will be uh, you know available on uh, you know uh, these systems will appear here. So you can you can see there's a usage analytics. So uh, the, currently there is no uh, dev space, there is no database created here. So you won't find any usage analytics here. So you, you can see that the pop up is like um, the current interval interval expires in 30, 30 days. If you log in it regularly, the interval will be extended automatically until your 90 day trial period is finished. Your trial account will be deleted 90 days now on December 30, 2023. That's that's what it's all about. So can't uh, find your global account, log in with your different user. So. Um, uh, if, if you want to create a global account, so you have to switch to the global account and you can create your global user. So you can see your and at entitlements here. So guys, actually, actually, I just want to pause it here because um, I will uh, next in next video I'll show you how to create a dev space, how to create a HANA instance, and uh, then we will just create uh, users, and then we will uh, assign privileges to the users. So that's going to be my next video. So I I don't want to stretch it stretch it more. So.
that that's what actually I want to do it. I want to just create these videos in phases, like I did it for the S4 HANA migration. So Sam, I just want to create, a, um, you know, videos, um, different videos, and I want to split it in different videos, multiple videos, so that uh, it will be easily understandable to everyone. It will be like uh, everybody can, um, you know, learn easily from these videos. Thank you. Thank you.